If you're one of the lucky bunch where you have two separate workspaces, for example, if you have a desk side and you're a sim rating degenerate and you have your sim rig on the other side of the room, it can be quite annoying to be switching back and forth between both setups and opening apps on the right displays. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some tools and apps that you can help use this and make yourself more efficient or lazy, however you want to call it, in switching your monitors. And hopefully you can just jump from one side to the other and click a button and switch everything to that screen. Now it is recommended that before you do open any of your games and apps that you switch to the monitor that you intend to use that application on so for example before I do any of my racing I click a button on my stream deck that I have here on my desk and everything goes over to the ultra wide monitor and then if I'm going to play FPS games I can click a button on the rig or the stream deck as well on the desk and everything will jump from over there to here so it's recommended before you open any apps or any games or any sims make sure you press the button and switch your setup to the other side and vice versa so first up it's obviously Obviously the Windows default way some people might not know about this so I have to show you anyway so what you want to do is hit your Windows start button and come to settings and then once you go to your settings if you head to your system and then you head to display and then obviously you'll see all of my displays laid here so this is my desk side monitors four and two and two is obviously the one that I can see straight in front of me and one and three is my sim racing screen and obviously the fourth screen above it kind of for chat and all those kind of streaming purposes so basically all you can do is just come here go into this multiple displays and click make this my main display once you do that everything will kind of just flash and basically that will be set as your main display now making a main display basically means that anytime you open an application that is the display that it's going to go straight to so you can then drag it to other screens if you want to but for example like the purpose of this video when you open games if you've not set that as your main display iRacing or set a course will open on this screen as this is the main screen some games are kind of clever and in the settings you can click like what what screen you want to project it to but again some sims out there unfortunately just don't have these things in the config files so I'd say it's better to just do this so everything will open on that display that you select. Now, if that was just one too many clicks for you, I'm going to show you another tool called the Multi Monitor Tool. Now, you can get this by clicking the link in the description, or you can head to Google and type Multi Monitor Tool, and you'll be greeted by this website that looks like it's stuck in the 1990s. And I salute you guys. I guess no need to update the website. And all you have to do is click Multi Monitor Tool x86, download that extract it and then you'll be greeted with this folder here now pretty simple multi monitor tool is exactly what it says on the tin so this is another way of basically doing what microsoft windows was doing for you in the previous menu it's listing all of your displays here as you can see display four one three and two and obviously you can see this one here is my 1440 display so the monitor that i'm looking here and then this is my ultra wide because you can see the resolution is 3440 by 1440. And then you can see my other two displays, which I've got off the side here and above the rig as well. And you can see the different applications that are open on all of these screens. So super simple. You can put multi monitor tool in your desktop or you could put it in your documents. You can just chuck it anywhere, basically. And then once you open multi monitor tool, you just click on the screen that you want to make your primary screen. So, for example, if you're going to switch to the racing side, you just click your 3440 by 1440 or whatever display that you have. And then click this little monitor with the globe tool. And as you can see, it says set as primary monitor. Then once you do this, everything will flash and then that will be set as your primary monitor. So you can do this for any of your screens. And I recommend as well people for clicking file and click monitor configuration. So once you make one, you can call it like rig and then you can make another one called like desk. And all you have to do is just click load monitor configuration and then just double click in this folder where there is a CFG file. And then literally that'll be done for you within about two clicks rather than having to do that all again. So it's pretty simple. You can do that as well. Now, the last one I'm going to show you is a paid option. And I think right now it's on sale for Steam for around £20 or $30. But I did buy a license for this. So if you want to support the devs, then feel free. And this one is called Display Fusion. So let's go to the Display Fusion website and let's grab that now as well so i can guide you guys through that so you can get a 30-day free trial and there is a lot of additional things in display fusion that the only reason i like display fusion is the one reason i'm about to tell you now and that is it just works better with my stream deck there is a way that you can do it with the multi monitor tool but i found that sometimes i would have to restart the stream deck application because it wouldn't find one of my monitors or something like that basically it just got a bit too messy whereas display fusion just works better for me so feel free to use multi monitor tool if that works for you 
but if you are very lazy like myself then i recommend you display fusion it's a one-off purchase so you don't have to do any monthly bull or anything like that you could just buy a license once and then forget about it but yeah going back to the topic there is a lot of stuff on here that personally i really wouldn't use there's a lot of monitor splittings and fading monitors and different position profiles and anyway we'll go through the installation process and i recommend turning a lot of it off personally so all you want to do is hit download and then just click download installer wait for this to open obviously english accept the license agreements and where you want to install it etc uh, i recommend to do launch at windows startup obviously you want this to run straight away as soon as your pc turns up and i would turn this off because i don't want this to show up anywhere basically the only reason i've got this software is for the pure purpose that once i click a button on my stream deck everything will switch i don't really want to know anything else that you can do and then here you can click use trial version or license key so i'm going to quickly go grab my license key from my emails great and then once you've done that you can if you want a desktop icon again i wouldn't recommend it just hit install and let that do its business and then you can just click launch now as well so yeah like i mentioned there is a lot of uh there is a lot of stuff built into display fusion so the multi-monitor taskbar is currently enabled may cause issues would you like to disable the windows no i click display dis disable display fusion taskbars because i just want to keep everything as it is i don't want any different taskbars or different buttons or anything like that you can see there's these new buttons that's showing up and it's already changing like my wallpapers and stuff like that it's just yeah there's a lot of features so you just want to click next through all of these configure display fusion so again i recommend going through like functions you can turn off the hotkeys and alt tab you can just turn off all of these and monitor fading make sure it's turned off remote control turn it all off screen savers and title bar buttons and window management i just want to turn it all off window snapping especially i just i want windows to control everything i don't want anything else controlling it anyway once you've done all of that you should be fine so then you can hit close and then once you close that, right click on Display Fusion, it'll probably be on the bottom right of your screen. And then you go to Monitor Profiles, and then you want to click Create and Edit Monitor Profiles. So again, same here, you're getting your four displays that will pop up here, my two that are on my desk, and then my two racing side. So for example, we're going to make our first profile here, and we're going to save it as like my, my desk side. So the name is also important. I'm going to show you afterwards how to combine this with your stream deck. If for any of you that want to do it for a button on a stream deck, the name here is going to be quite important. So you can name it however. But if you're doing a desk and a rig, then you could just copy what I write. So for the first profile, we're obviously going to set this as a desk profile. So you want to set this as a primary if it's not done already. Right now, this is my primary monitor. So we also want to just turn off all of these extra features that I do not want. And then we can just hit apply as well. And then once that is done, you can click new profile and then you could just call this desk. And now I want to make one for my racing side as well. So we're going to set this to our primary monitor. So everything will probably just flash for a second once you do that. Don't worry, nothing is breaking. So now that's set as our primary monitor, you can see that it's set as primary because that's grayed out. You can hit apply and all of my taskbar and everything when I move there. So you could tell that it's the default monitor now. And then you can also just call this like rig. So if you're gonna have a desk side and a rig side, you can copy exactly what I've written here. And then what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna click load profile and then load desk. So everything should just jump back over. Now, the next thing we need to change is this because I don't wanna see a prompt every time because otherwise if I don't click it in 12 seconds, it's gonna change it all back. So once we do that, we need to just hit apply. So what we wanna do is open the settings for Display Fusion and in the advanced settings in the bottom right, I think you can just type prompt, don't show confirmation prompt. And then we wanna say confirmation prompts are not shown. And then we can click okay, close, close. And then to test it, come down to Display Fusion and then Monitor Profiles, you can click Rig and then you see there's no confirmation box and then you see when I switch it back over. Now that I switched it back over to my desk side, everything is perfectly fine. Now, the next tip I'm gonna show you is if you want to integrate this with your Stream Decks. This is the command that you're going to need. Now you're gonna be setting a system open key bind here. So just head to Stream Deck and then go to System Open and then you're gonna be putting this command like i've said here and then at the end where you see monitor load profile desk you change this for whatever profile name that you've have so if you've got i don't know lounge or tv if you've got different setups that you've used one for a tv or something however you need this anyway so this is the command that you're going to be doing 
for that and then you could just do a press of a button on a stream deck and then everything should nicely just flash over like it has already everything's disappeared off the taskbar if i click desk on my stream deck everything just comes straight back over. Now, the last tip I wanna show you is a very, very niche category. But for example, if you're doing an endurance race on something like iRacing or LMU, hopefully when they get their driver swaps, and you and your team are gonna be doing 12 or 24 hour races, but you don't wanna sit in the rig for that whole time. What I'm gonna show you is by using OBS, as you can see on screen, you can basically project what's on that screen to a different screen. So you don't have to sit in the whole rig and then you can talk with your friends and do everything else on your other setups rather than sitting in the whole rig for each time. So what you're gonna to need to do is first get OBS, head to file settings and set up your canvas. So for example, if you're playing on a 1440p or a 1080 display, I'd recommend either doing 2560 by 1440 or 1920 by 1080. So for this purpose, we're gonna do 2560 by 1440 and then set your FPS to 60 as well. You could also do the ultra wide resolution at 3440 by 1440, but then on OBS, I think it would kind of looked weird, but we can do it for this purpose anyway. So if we do 3440 by 1440. So once our canvas is set, we're gonna use the actual iRacing UI as our test dummy here. So if I drag that over to my ultra wide screen, so you can now see that the UI is set on the ultra wide screen. Ultra wide screen, God, that's very hard to say. So for this purpose, I'm gonna be using the UI, but you guys are gonna be using the simulator, I hope anyway. So for example, you're gonna be adding the simulator with the game capture, but just for this purpose, so you guys can see what I'm doing, we're gonna be using the window capture just because I can't capture the UI as a game because it's built on a different kind of architecture and all that kind of mumbo jumbo. Anyway, add your different kind of game source. So this will be LMU or iRacing. Instead of capture the full screen, you want to capture a selected window. Yours will say iRacing Simulator or Le Mans Ultimate, however, whatever simulator you're going to capture. And then just click OK and you can see here. Now, the last step that you need to do now is then right click this kind of canvas full screen projector preview. And then if I click LG Ultra Gear, which is this screen, you're gonna see it's basically just projecting anything on there, basically onto my main screen. So this is how, for example, when you come to my streams and I'm doing a 24 hour race, but I'm not sat in the rig, I'm sat here and I can still see the game. I can still see all the info through my overlays. This is exactly how I do it. You can still sit in this side or on your desk and you can still control the screen. You can still go to official. It's obviously not on this display, it's this one. So it's a bit weird, but you know, you can control it, everything. So if you wanna do any pit stop or changes or anything like that, everything is normal. So again, it's a very niche use case of people who'd want to use this, but if you can find a way to use it in your creative world or for any simulator or any different kind of games, this kind of OBS and using the projector, how I'm doing now is, is very useful to, if you wanna put the sim on a TV and watch it from your sofa or something like that, and you can talk wirelessly for a headset. However you wanna do it, this is exactly the method that I would use. So then you can walk around freely rather than being sat in the rig for 24 hours while the race goes on. But yeah, that brings me to the end of today's video. So if you found any information in this video useful and you're gonna use it on your setups, I'd appreciate you guys dropping a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. But thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, peace.